hoping that it's going to turn sunnier this week, and I think we have a pretty good shot of that, David and Paula. And we're looking at the uh, conclusion of May almost, as you mentioned, David, two more days to the month. Well, we had a lot of blue squares in there. It's hard to imagine we had that heat wave just a couple of weeks ago, but the month is going to go into the record books as a cooler than average May, and that hasn't happened since 2008. So it's been quite a while since we've had a cool May. This has been quite a cool month indeed. With all the rain we've been having, it's cleansed the atmosphere and dropped the pollen levels, but they'll be starting an inch back up a little bit, especially as the sun comes out and we get a bit more wind later in the week. So spiking up a little bit on a Thursday with oak and ash trees and also grass pollens getting into the mix. So today was uh, the coldest Memorial Day in more than 40 years. You have to go way back to 1974. Only 54 in Boston. That happened after midnight. It should have been up around 70. That's the average high for this date. Of course, we're about 40 degrees away from the record high for the date. So we're in the upper 40s uh, right now, and it's pretty warm off to the southwest, and some of that warmer air is finally going to come in here. These will be your highs tomorrow, higher than today, low 60s to upper 50s at the coastline, mid 60s or so inland. But again, much of the nation is going to be pretty warm tomorrow with a lot of 80s here. The culprit today was this storm offshore keeping the cool air locked in here with a little bit of rain and mist around but that is pretty much ended and we have a couple of fronts on the way this one is going to come through later tomorrow and spark most of the thunderstorms across parts of northern new england but most of those showers will die away as they come into new england the next front coming along on wednesday has a better shot of giving us some showers and thunderstorms mostly during uh, late wednesday afternoon or wednesday evening so tomorrow morning it's going to be murky it's going to be damp it's gloomy maybe a touch of mist in spots but it should brighten during the day in spots and yielding perhaps a few patches of blue. There go the showers late tomorrow into northern New England. And then we also have, uh, as Wednesday goes along, we'll have some breaks in the clouds. And then we'll have some showers and storms coming in. The line gets closer to Boston then, so that's the way it looks for Wednesday with a few late-day showers and storms. Thursday should be the nicest day. Friday, some showers and storms in the afternoon. Split decision on the weekend. Not quite sure if it's going to turn rainy and cold on Sunday, but Saturday should be nice. So looking ahead, last year we had 22 days over 90. It was a scorching summer, and many of the suburbs had 30, degree, 30 days or more of 90 degrees. So that's going to be this summer? It's going to be a different summer, near to above average rainfall, so that means no drought. I'm expecting near to a bit above average temperatures, but definitely cooler than last year. So how many 90-degree days will we have in Boston? Drum roll, please. Here we go. Fantastic. 14. So that means we've already had three. I'm expecting about 11 more. It's a little trickier forecast this year. We've been pretty successful recently. We'll see what happens. But, of course, the suburbs would have more than 14 because they're away from a little bit of a cooling sea breeze.